back party people. We just arrived at the Pink Beds Overlook on the Blue Ridge Parkway from a night of camping in the Pisgah National Forest. In the distance you can get a view of Looking Glass Rock. The curved rock face reflects the sunlight, hence the name, and is a popular destination amongst climbers. That's not what we're here for today. Off in the distance there, you can see Frying Pan Lookout Tower, top of Frying Pan Mountain. Standing at 70 foot, we should be able to get some amazing views from atop. The tower was used as a firewatch for almost a half a century from the 1940s until the 1990s. That structure beside it, a modern convenience, a cell phone tower. Why is this overlook called Pink Beds? I haven't seen anything pink yet. Once upon a time, rhododendron and mountain laurel that bloomed pink could be seen in the valley below, but forestation has now covered it. But before we make our climb to the top of Frying Pan Mountain, we need just a bit more energy and our morning coffee. After breakfast, we head back down the Blue Ridge Parkway to the Frying Pan Mountain parking area. grabbing a spot on the side of the parkway, there was one thing we noticed right away, the sound of bees. As we head past the yeah. gate and take note of the caution signs, we get ready for a 0.8 of a mile climb with a steady uphill grade. those sounds of bees I was talking about you could even hear them from the parking area and they were out in abundance sucking the nectar from all the flowers on the side of the trail listen I think there's somebody up there or is it before we knew it we started to get a glimpse of the tower cell phone we came all this way to get cell phone signal bay yeah Remember like why you bald? Yeah, why bald? We visited on a Tuesday and it was still quite busy. This place is popular amongst hikers and runners alike. This particular cell phone tower is owned and managed by Crown Castle Incorporated. Crown Castle is an infrastructure solutions provider that owns and manages over 40,000 cell phone towers in the United States. This particular tower is quite tall compared to the lookout tower. Turn our attention to the tower and, hmm, I think to myself, why in the world is this named Frying Pan Tower and why is this mountain named Frying Pan Mountain? I just couldn't make a correlation. So I looked it up so you wouldn't have to. Legend has it there was a frying pan shaped spring in the gap below. Or, legend has it, early pioneers camped in the gap below and hung frying pans from the trees. down the trail you had just ascended, you can see Funnel Top Mountain there, named for its shape. Looks like a funnel. So just how high would you be if you climbed to the top of Frying Pan Tower on top of Frying Pan Mountain? Well, the mountain itself is 5,340 feet above sea level, an additional 70 feet for the tower. However, access to the very top of the tower is locked. Looking to the north, you can get some great views of Mount Pisgah.
Peering west, you can get a glimpse of Cold Mountain and the Shining Rock Wilderness area. view you can get to the south that's right pink beds overlook we were just there on this day access to the top viewing deck was locked but rumor has it you may want to check it did you call my face i think so <laughs> It was time for us to head out. We still had to hike down Frying Pan Mountain and a bit more exploring to do before we find our next boondocking site for the night. That okay. down is so much easier than coming up. I just kind of let my weight help me trot down the trail. Money's capturing this interesting spider web with a leaf trapped in it. I duck off into the woods. She doesn't even notice. We finally arrived back at the parking area and it was time for a drink of cool water. We jump in the van and head out toward Brevard, North Carolina and the Pisgah National Forest. found the great boondocking site right here in Pisgah National Forest. I gotta admit though, these sites are popular and are often taken, so get there early. We light up some cedar to keep the mosquitoes at bay, put on some dinner. That's going to wrap this video up. I hope you join us for our next adventure. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now. Babe, can you recording and what I eating like this? <laughs>